today's been sort of surreal because it just reminded with Cyril that it makes you confront your mortality as much as anything else because somebody like me, you know, it, you know, it takes you back to your childhood, which seems like yesterday, but of course is way back in the last century. And then there's also, so like Cyril was indestructible, you know, it just reminder, you know, that we are, that we are all mortal. I've walked past the, the Assel gates a few times, so I've had to stop, I've had to stop looking at it, because it's, um, I don't know, it just chugs me up seeing all the villa scarves and Coventry scarves, I'm sort of Man City scarf there. He's an ambassador on the football pitch, he was an ambassador off the football pitch, um, he was gently spoken, he, you know, if you looked at the size of him, you wouldn't mess with him, but uh, no, when you heard his voice, he was very, very welcoming towards you. I'd like to officially welcome you all to what we are calling today the celebration of the life of Cyril Regis M.B.E. opening my eyes for, you know, since 1977, opened my eyes to all the issues that were about at the time, known him in later life to have opened my eyes in other ways then, and and, and, and just even when I'm, I made a documentary about sort of the whole era, and just talking to him then, I was still learning new things about his life, about society in general. You know, there's unfinished business, you know, Cyril's a very gentle man, but there was still some anger sort of burning inside him, you know, things that haven't actually changed that much. Yet Cyril never lost his cool, nor was he ever intimidated. He always said that it, that it motivated him to play even better. Now, how could anyone think they could possibly intimidate a big man? You couldn't, you couldn't intimidate Cyril Regis.